plants, like all other organisms, have evolved drastically. Scientists say that all plants evolved from protists that contain chloroplast. A great example of that is green algae. It's the common ancestor to all plants. Till this day, scientists still don't know whether this organism should be placed in the protist kingdom or the plant kingdom. It appeared around 700 million years ago. Green algae evolved into non-vascular plants, also known as bryophytes, such as mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Non-vascular plants do not have roots. They use tiny hairs to anchor to the ground. These hairs help them absorb water and nutrients. These plants originated around 500 to 400 million years ago. Afterwards, seedless vascular plants came into existence. Their vascular system made it easier to transport nutrients and water throughout their bodies. Vascular plants are also known as tracheophytes. A great example of seedless vascular plants are ferns. They appeared around 360 million years ago. The first vascular plants also evolved into seeded vascular plants. Seeded vascular plants have improved fertilization success and are called gymnosperms. Examples of gymnosperms are conifers. They first appeared around 230 million years ago. Afterwards, angiosperms evolved from the first vascular plants. Angiosperms are flowering seeded vascular plants. They also have improved fertilization success. An example of early angiosperms are magnolids. They appeared around 140 million years ago. From plant-like protists to angiosperms, plants have evolved significantly. What was once a unicellular organism is now a complex multicellular organism with organ systems. Scientists believe that there are around 400,000 documented species of plants around the world. Not only do they provide humans with food, but also oxygen. Therefore, it's important to study how the plant kingdom evolved.